Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Deontay Wilder responds to Team Joshua saying they need more than eight weeks to make a Joshua Wilder fight and training camp. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Vimo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't really even feel like doing any more videos today. I've just been handling some business, running errands. I wasn't going to make this video. But you know what? Deontay Wilder inspired me to make this video because he's staying on top of this issue and he's doing what he said and I got to respect that and I feel to my audience it would be a disservice if I just skipped over what I just seen and commented on on his um, verified account on Instagram. So I said, you know what, get your punk ass up and make this video. You know what I mean? Because he's staying on top of the issue. I got to stay on top of the issues. New media, Eagles Army, we stay on top. Bay Area, we talk tonight. Deontay Wilder, verified Instagram. He posted this art. It says, facts, quote, every fighter that has stepped in the ring with Deontay has got knocked the fuck out. End quote. Caption says, kings don't make excuses, exclamation point. All I need is six weeks, period. Very cutthroat, to the point, very direct. And it's obviously a direct response to a video I did earlier. Well, not necessarily my video particularly, but the topic that I told you guys about with the interview that Eddie Hearn did on Sky Sports. Eddie Hearn says, a fight that's massive like Joshua Wilder needs more than eight week training camps. I did a live stream on that. Check the replay if you missed out on the live feed. And I made a video about that. To me, that's rubbish because I talk to fighters, I'm in these gyms and big fight or not, that's about average. That's about the average. Eight to 10 weeks is about average, whether it's Canelo or Golovkin or whatever fight. That's about the average. Now, I understand if it was somewhere like four weeks, like, oh, that's too, a fight of this magnitude, that's that's not enough time to train, recruit sparring partners, fly them in from around the world, woom, woom, woom. So I could understand that. But eight weeks, that's not like Golovkin versus Vanas Matarosin where Canelo officially pulled out 14 days before the actual fight card and then they threw somebody in there. You, you still have plenty of time, right? So... I like that Deontay Wilder, he, he's doing what he said. He said, I'm going to smoke him out and he's not going to let nobody like throw dirt on his name and make it look like he's ducking the fight. And to be honest, that's exactly what Eddie Hearn's doing. To me, it appears that they would prefer to fight Alexander Povetkin next. And what Eddie Hearn is doing is already trying to plant the seeds to make it look like Deontay Wilder has been the holdup. Oh, he took four weeks to get back to us. But you got the contract you or you got the acceptance or whatever right pa Povetkin is supposed to be a backup so if your first choice and what you said that Anthony Joshua really and truly and what he said on tape really and truly is the case and you want to fight Wilder then it should be no more roadblocks no more excuses make that fight Povetkin again how do you have just enough time for Joshua Povetkin a dangerous puncher a guy who's a gold medalist Wilder's only a bronze medalist they're both punchers you know what I mean so one guy um they say has a good resume with Klitschko. He's a gold medalist. He's, he's been in there with people like that, Hassan Rockman. And Wilder, they say he, he only fights bums. And Joseph Parker is a, a tougher fight. And he only got a bronze medal. So how is it you have just enough time for a training camp for Povetkin, who's still a danger, again, a gold medalist, who failed two drug tests in 2016, facts, right? But it's not enough time for a fight of this magnitude and then you say oh we could extend it and do a 10-week training camp for this fight but that would require us to get off of the september dates and wembley won't be available like who cares nobody cares if it's at wembley you know what i'm saying you're gonna make money wherever it's at charge whatever price that you were planning on charging the cardiff wales venue did like eighty thousand versus tackham so surely people would 
would tone out and turn out for a UK fight in Wales or wherever you put it. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it just sounds like more just excuses to prolong it. And it would be better at this point to just say, hey, we're, hurry up, announce the Povetkin fight if that's what it's going to be. Or hurry up and announce this fight or whatever. Or just be honest. Say, hey, we want to get one more in before we fight with you. And then the fans can kind of move on. But frankly, I'm getting tired of talking about it. Wilder, he's very direct to the point. And the world sees it. New media, Eagles Army, I think we've done a good job of staying on top of this. That's Wilder's direct response. He's saying he only needs six. So he's a champion too. He's risking it. He's willing to travel, get jet lag, and all this extra stuff to the UK. So how is it that Joshua needs more than eight weeks? But Wilder's telling you, I only need six weeks. Kings don't make excuses. So it's, it's really not a good situation. And I think if Eddie Hearn and Joshua had been on the same accord and been in unison with what they were saying and, and really more transparent with the fans, then it wouldn't have been all this. They could have just said, you know what? You take a, a voluntary fight of your to choice, a, a tune-up or whatever, title defense, and we're going to do the same, and then we'll meet in February. Because then people would just be able to drop it and then focus on what else boxing has to offer. Canelo, Triple G2, Mikey Garcia, Robert Easter too. But they kind of strung people along or would string them along and say, hey, we want 50 million. If they think it's worth this much, then give us 50 million. And then Wilder's team does just that. And then, oh, hey, it's not about money. We, we're willing to take pay cuts to fight at home because it's about the fan. Like, people don't believe it anymore. That's Deontay Wilder's response. Let me know what you guys think. Who wins the fight? And will it happen next? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.